everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I am here with everything you need to know about The End. So, for those of you who don't know, The End is a new dimension that was added to Minecraft PE in this update. It has been on the other versions, or uh, most versions of Minecraft, if not all, for a long time. All the main ones, at least. Uh, um, and it finally came to Pocket Edition, and I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know. So, some people might already know a lot, and I don't know if I'm going to even cover everything, because there's just so much stuff. So, if there's anything I don't cover and you want me to cover, just ask me in the comments, and I'll possibly respond if I haven't covered it in this video. And, um, yeah, so for those of you who haven't played the other versions of Minecraft, I hope this is a big help to you. And if you do enjoy it by the end of this video, please subscribe. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to... Well, I I'll also, um, I mean, in the link... The in the description... I'll have some links to other videos that I've made about this update and about other things in the end where I go in more detail about all of the things that are in the end. Um, just like the like the new mobs and everything. So, yeah. Let's make an end portal. So, this is one of the ways to go in the end. The first way. The easier way. So, you have to do this. You have to keep placing the Eye of Enders. And see that little white dot there? Make sure it's facing the middle. Just like that. The white dot has to be facing the middle. So, sometimes it doesn't, and what you do is you just break it, and place it again, and keep trying. Usually on the second try, it works. Uh, you have to be facing it like this, and then it can go to the middle. So, you have to be, um, if I'm facing it like this, it's going to, oh, it's the one to the middle. <laughs> I don't know, but sometimes I think you have to be in the middle to do this. Um, just keep placing them. Um, you could even just go like that, and then break them, even before you place an Eye of Ender. And then this last one, I'm going to stand up here because, oh, and I'm in the end either way. So I'm in the end right now. You'll see when I get in here. And that is the first way to get to the end. You can see there's the ender dragon right there. And I'm going to show you guys the second way to go to the end. So if you want to leave the end without having the portal, the only way is to, well, let's just say you're not going to make it out of the end alive if you have if you haven't beat if you don't beat the dragon there's no way to get out of the end unless you jump off the edge or the dragon or enderman kill you so yeah that's the only uh catch to this so make sure you're prepared when you go in there because if you're not you're not gonna have a fun time <laughs> then um the next way to go to the end this is the way it's supposed to be and this is the only way you can do it in survival is to get an eye of ender and throw it so as you can see you follow that and you keep following the eye of ender uh, as far as it goes and follow where it goes so you can see it's going this way you keep going this way throw it again and keep throwing it and then once it starts going towards the ground when the eye of ender is going to the ground uh, not here that see when it just went to the ground now it fell from the sky not when it falls to the sky but when you throw it and it doesn't go up it goes to the ground follow it to the spot it goes to and just start digging down where it lands and you will be in the end stronghold and that's like a cool dungeon area um if i remember to i'll put some pictures of it right now uh basically uh then you have to go through it and find the room that has the end in it the end portal in it which i'll put pictures on the screen right now if i remember to um of what that looks like uh, now we're going to go into the end unless my game just crashed Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. We went to the end. Uh, I was making sure we're still recording. It's still recording. And, yeah, I'm, the reason I didn't find the strongholds in this video is because sometimes it can take a long time, and then to find the portal can take a long time, and this is kind of the second time I've tried to record this. So, yeah, and, and then you have to break all these crystals when you want to fight the ender dragon. Uh, in survival mode, you can either jump up here and break them. They don't do that much damage to you if you have good armor, I'm pretty sure, and I don't think they push you back that much either. Uh... Uh, they might. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think they do. And um, in survival mode, you could just shoot them with a bow, which is probably one of the best ways to do it. I'll also have a video about the best ways to kill the Ender Dragon in Minecraft Pocket Edition, which I guess will work on all versions of Minecraft, but I'm a mostly MCPE YouTuber. I've only made a few videos on other versions of Minecraft, so that's why it's going to be mostly for MCPE players um, to learn how to do this stuff. Um... Alright, so now we're going to grab a sword. Uh, we should probably enchant the sword. Um, here, let's let's get sharpness. Sharpness is probably somewhere around here, right? Sharpness, where is it, where is it? Sharpness. There we go, sharpness 5. And then we're going to get a bow. Um, and we're going to grab some power 5. Enchanted, where's power? Five? There we go. Wow, first try. <laughs> I'm starting to get used to it. I know the areas of those two enchantments because they're pretty helpful in Minecraft. And you need those enchantments a lot. 
Um, and sometimes when I'm enchanting, the Ender Dragon will come by and hit me, and everything comes out of the anvil, and it's really annoying. <laughs> and I lose the stuff, too. That happened to me a little earlier in my video about, um, Elytra, how to use Elytra. Oh, yeah, I think it just pushed me now. So, yeah, the Ender Dragon, also, be careful when you're in survival, it pushes you really far back sometimes. Um... Yeah, and so what the Ender Dragon will do is, he or she or whatever, will fly around. You can try to shoot it, but it's kind of hard to do that. Sometimes you can get a good hit on it, like every once in a while. If you've seen my Elytra video, I had a time lapse of me killing the Ender Dragon in that one. But this is your best chance to kill it. You have to go right here and start tapping it, um, and then you shoot it with a bow a bunch of times. And um, sorry if you hear the background noise. My uh, Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, so just keep shooting it and hitting it and stuff. The best way is to wait till it gets to this fountain thing in the middle and start hitting it. Be careful though, you saw how far that pushed me back. Um, and I'll make a video, there's actually a better way to kill the Ender Dragon that I know. Um, and I'll make a video about that too. Um, so uh, some of you might already know that way if you've played other versions of Minecraft. But if you haven't, I will show you that way. There's a really, really good way of killing the Ender Dragon. I don't know if it's better than this. Probably though, it's probably faster. Not 100% sure, though, um, if it is or not. And once you kill the Ender Dragon, there will be a cool animation at the end that you'll see. And I'm pretty sure it gives you, like, 80 levels of EXP or something like that. I'm not sure the exact amount, but I know it gives you a lot. So you'll be able to enchant a lot of stuff um, with the XP, EXP or XP, whatever you call it, <laughs> that you'll get from this. Um, and in survival mode, I don't think it happens in creative mode because I haven't seen it in creative mode, but... The Ender Dragon will shoot Dragon's Breath, and Dragon's Breath is purple. And as you can see right now, right now it will be, I'm pretty sure, shooting Dragon's Breath. I have not seen it in creative mode, but it's just like purple cloud. Do not step in it. What you do is, um, you get a glass bottle and tap on it, and you keep tapping on the purple things. It almost looks like the Enderman particles here that you can see in the air right there. And the particles the nether portal gives off. Just these particles. It looks like that. And it's a big cloud of it. If you step in it, it does damage to you. It doesn't do a lot, but if you stay in it and you can't get out in time, you'll get killed because it's a pretty big cloud of uh, Dragon's Breath. And you keep tapping on it. Just I don't think you have to tap and hold. I think you just tap on it with a glass bottle and you'll get this stuff called Dragon's Breath, which you can use to make these new potions right here. Um, these are uh, potions, like uh, these are lingering potions. I'm not sure what this, um, with, what, I'm pretty sure there are some new, new potions. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think there are. Oh yeah. What is it? I don't know what this potion of decay is Wither. Oh, it's a wither effect. Oh, that's pretty cool. So anything that steps in here, I guess we'll get the, yeah, you get the, oh, that's so cool. I don't know if that's a pocket edition exclusive or not, but anyway, um, yeah, so you'll get the, uh, lingering effect and I'll probably make some kind of video about that too. Um, so, yeah, and it makes this cloud here of particles, and that's what you need the Dragon's Breath for. And the Dragon's Breath, it makes sense why you need it, because the Dragon's Breath is like a cloud of particles that hurt you. And you can turn it into healing potions, too, though. I don't know why you'd want that to fight monsters, but maybe if you're playing Minecraft with your friend, you need it or something? I don't know. <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, um, let's kill the Ender Dragon. Um, oh, come on, stop flying away. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Um... <clears throat> all right all right we're almost done guys <laughs> we're almost done killing the ender dragon just a few more hits next time it comes down we'll probably be able to kill the ender dragon <laughs> um <clears throat> there we go we got a pretty good hit on it right there and there and there and it's gonna push me back it pushes me pretty far sometimes it doesn't push you that far i feel like sometimes oh and here's a cool animation sometimes the ender dragon seems stronger sometimes it pushes you back further Anyway, here we go. The Ender Dragon's like twitching and turns red and stuff. And then drops all this EXP right here. So you can just go pick that up. Um, it's uh, Like I said, 70 or 80 levels. I know it's a lot. And then you'll see this thing right here. This is called the Dragon's Egg right on top of here. Tap on the Dragon's Egg and it will teleport. If you want this as a souvenir from the end, which you probably do because it's really, really cool. <laughs> what you're going to have to do is get a torch. Go over here. I think there are other ways to do it, but this is probably the easiest way, most efficient way. And if you forgot to bring a torch, don't worry. You could get them off of here. Make sure you don't fall in the portal, though. <laughs> if you fall into the por portal, you might have a hard time. Place the torch under it, and then break the block, and it will turn into an item when it falls. And there you go. You have the dragon's egg, or you could just get them in creative mode. <laughs> if something happens uh, to your thing, don't worry. If, like, some mistake happens and you lose it, 
you could get them here in creative mode. Uh, and then there's this new item called the Dragon's Head. To be honest, I'm not sure how you get it. I haven't really looked it up, but I probably should have. But I don't know. You guys can find that out. If I find out, I'll probably make a video on it if there is a way to get it in survival mode. Not 100% sure. But you can um, get in creative mode, at least. I know that. And um, you can make it, like, bite thing. Like, when you put a red... Uh, bite things. I mean, if you attach, like... Not attach. If you put a redstone current through it, you can uh, make it its mouth move. So, I guess it's, like, eating things. <laughs> or uh, eating people, or whatever you want to say it's eating. Um, see, its mouth moves uh, when I... And then when I click the lever, it goes off. So, you can use that if you make a statue of the Ender Dragon or something like that. Now they just need to add dragon wings, legs, body, tail, and, um, yeah, and I guess arms, but that's probably the same thing as legs. And then, yeah, you'll have, <laughs> you'll have an Ender Dragon. Uh, so, one day, maybe one day. No, I'm kidding. I doubt they'll ever do that. Anyway, now, um, once you're done doing that, you can summon the Ender Dragon again, which I will show you later on um, in the video. But for now... Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab an ender pearl, find this thing that's floating in the sky, right here. And then, get your ender pearl, go right up to it, and throw it through here. Sometimes it doesn't work, you gotta try a few times. You gotta make sure you get it right in that portal block thingy right there. And then, you are in this other cool part of the end. Um, and... In this cool part of the end, you can find um, these uh, dungeon temple thingies. They're, I guess, dungeons in the end. I don't know what the correct word is. And you find these things, coarse fruits or plants, fruit. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to throw that. Here, let's break it. If you break the bottom one, it was kind of laggy there, but they all fall. Except for some reason, these ones didn't. Oh, they did fall. They're just... It's not showing that they fell. And um, they'll fall on the ground. And as you can see, there's an endermite on the ground right here. There we go. We got an endermite. Um, I'm pretty sure they, uh, Endermites might spawn when Endermen teleport, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. Yeah, see, and they try to, uh, the Endermen fight them and stuff. I think they could kill Endermen, too. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. And, um, anyway, when you get these purple, I mean, chorus fruit and, uh, the chorus flowers, what you can do is you can turn these, uh, by getting a furnace. You have to get a furnace. Where is it? Where is the furnace? Oh, oops. I mean... Oh, I keep clicking on that accidentally. Okay, get a furnace. Where's the furnace? Okay, right here. Um, place the furnace. Burn something. I'm not going to burn my bow. Uh, we're going to burn some oak wood here, right here, these logs. And then we'll put this in. And then when you put it in, you'll get popped coarse fruit, which I'm not going to wait for it to smell. So I'm just going to grab it out of creative mode. And with that, you can make uh, pur pur blocks. And you can make end rods if you have a blaze rod. Um, here, let's grab a blaze rod. If I can find one. There we go. <laughs> here, um, here, let's craft a blaze. I mean, uh, let's craft end rods and purple blocks. And then, once you have purple blocks, this is what they look like, by the way. You place them down. You'll see what they're for in a minute. They are, that's what the dungeon thingies are made of. And, um, then if we get a crafting table over here, we can make a, um, we can make, um, Again, if I could find that. Okay, now we need some purple -pur blocks. If you have purple -pur blocks, you can turn them into uh, st uh, stairs and slabs. Now, you want to get slabs, because if you get slabs, slabs can make you pillars. And then with the pillars, what you can do is you can just, they look different. As you can see here, there we go. <laughs> That's a regular purple -pur block. I'm pretty sure they're actually called purple -pur blocks. Yeah, and then this is a purple -pur pillar. And um, I don't know why they call them purple. -pur. I think that sounds... I don't know, I just don't like the word, because I keep wanting to say purple, but I don't know, because I'm just so used to saying purple, obviously, and yeah, <laughs> anyway, uh, so here they are, <laughs> and then um, you get the end rods, which are right here, and they give off light, they're pretty cool, there are like particle effects around them, you can place them on the side of blocks, the top of blocks, anything, uh, they, and yeah, as you can see, they give off, off particles, they're really cool for like lamps, if you want to make some really cool kind of lamp or something, um, Oh, wait, I think they could go on the top, uh, bottom, I mean, of blocks. Maybe not. Maybe they can't. I thought they could. Maybe not. I'm not 100% sure, but they can go on the bottom of blocks and stuff like that. Now, we're going to look for one of these dungeon thingies that I mentioned earlier. Um, they are very, very cool. I actually have one on another world, so I will show you guys that. I have one of these dungeons. You just got to look around for them. Sometimes they're hard to find, but there's a reason that I want to show you this specific one because cause this is the one you're going to want. If you want elytra, elytra are the wingsuit thingies. 
Now, um, let's see. Where is it now? Where is it? I know it's on this world. I know because I made this is the world I used for my Elytra video, um, which probably will go up maybe after this video or maybe even a little bit before, but they'll probably go up the same day. But um, if you haven't seen that already, watch that one or unless this is the one that goes up first. Um, let's see. I can't really find it right now. Great. <laughs> That's great. I cannot find it. Ugh, okay. So, um, I'm looking for it. There are these cool... T here it is, here it is, okay. So, <laughs> here is the dungeon itself right here. They're pretty cool. Sometimes they're really big. See this, like, arm thing going off of it? Sometimes they have, sometimes they have them on all four sides. They have these arm things. And, um, I'm pretty sure there are some chests in here. There are shulkers. Um, shulkers are these new mobs, which... Uh, or that I will show you. If I can find one, I'll do that. Oh, oh, yeah, and this is where the... Oh, um, these... This is where these things are, these end rods. This is what they are used for. And then there are ender chests, which I will show you a little bit later on. And then you could get cool things that you could get from a regular dungeon. You could get enchanted items, things that you can't get from a regular dungeon. I don't think you can, at least. Um, let's go all the way up here. And it's just a cool little room. You can call this your house, I guess, your home if you want. Um, if you want to do that. And then there's this thing... Um, over where is it where's it here this is a pirate ship thing now um these aren't at every dungeon but uh you're gonna want this because this is where you get the elytra and the elytra is a wingsuit which i go into detail with in another video um watch that video i will uh probably put a card thing you know what those are uh like, it'll, it'll be a thing on the top right of the screen that if you're on a tablet, and uh, I don't know if, how it is on a computer, but if you're on a tablet or phone, it'll this thing will pop up on the top right of the screen, show you the video. You can click on that if you want to see that video. Uh, so, uh, that video shows you how to use these Elytra. They'll be right here in an item frame. In creative mode, if you break them, you're not going to get them, but if you break them in survival, you will get them. And uh, if you click the video, I'll also have a link in the description. Um, if you click that, then... Um, you'll be able to see how to use these. I'll show you how to use them, and I'll go into detail about finding them and everything you need to know about them. So, um, next thing here is the Ender Chest. And the Ender Chest, um, I'm just going to give a basic demonstration. I'll probably make another specific video about that, and if I do, I'll either put a link on the screen right now, like uh, in the top right corner, and if I don't do that, then I will uh, put a link in the description. Same for the Elytra thing. If I don't put it in the top right corner like I said I would if I forget to do that, there will definitely be a link in the description. So here, you could put an item in, and then you could put another ender chest somewhere else, and you could get the item out. So it's cool, and um, nobody else can see your stuff. I might make a detailed video about them if you guys want that. Um, so that's about it for this dungeon right here. And, um, now I'll just show you the other features while I'm in while I'm in here. Now, there are these things called end crystals. And, uh, you saw these earlier. You need bedrock. You can't place them on the... Oh, you can place them on obsidian, I guess. But you can't place them on the ground. But I think you could place them... I guess you could place them on obsidian? Oh, it seems like... Okay. So, yeah, you can place them on obsidian and bedrock, as you can see right here. Um... In the overworld, I don't think they'll have fire under them. I'm not sure. Maybe they will have fire under them. But anyway, you can see right here. You can, I can't place it on the end stone. I don't think I can place it on top of this thing, the end portal. Um, and I cannot place it on like here. Let's grab a random block. Red sand. I cannot place it on top. These are the ender crystals, the things you have to break. They heal the ender dragon. So, um, yeah, you, if you want to make a cool end scene, so it looks like. And then you can use a dragon head to make an ender dragon pixel art thing so um yeah this would be cool for making like if you if you're a map maker or something it might be a cool thing and if there's a way to like summon an ender dragon in a regular world that might be a good thing for you you can make a cool like you could fight the ender dragon in the real world and stuff like that now i'm going to show you how to summon the ender dragon again so if you decide that um you you want to fight the ender dragon again. <laughs> like, oh no, I want to I want to fight it again. What am I going to do? <laughs> you can. You can fight the ender dragon again. And it's pretty simple, but you can only do it if you go into creative mode. So, if you don't want to do that in your survival world, uh, maybe in the future they'll have a way, but I'm pretty sure you can only do this in creative mode because you need um you need a um oh what's it called? Uh uh, uh those ender crystals things I just showed you to do it. And you can only get those in creative mode. That's well, at least that's what I think. I think you can only get them in creative mode. And also, if you're wondering why the portal's in a different place this time, it's because I'm on a different world. <laughs> As you saw, I had to go on this other world because I want to show you guys the dungeon, the end dungeon thing. Um, now you're gonna go. Oh, the Ender Dragon's back. 
that's not supposed to happen. I don't know why that did. Oh, see, sometimes there's that glitch where the Ender Dragon will come back with, like, five health. And it's really weird. Like, not five health, but, like, really, really low health. And I don't understand why. But, here, let's just finish off the Ender Dragon here. And I'll show you guys how to summon the Ender Dragon again. And as you can see, there's that other portal thing straight ahead. Uh, all right, let's 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 kill the Ender Dragon Alright, I don't have sharpness on this sword, though. Sorry if you hear the phone ringing in the background. Um, so, if you want to kill the Ender Dragon, you just gotta keep hitting it. <laughs> and, um, eventually, you'll kill it, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes it'll come back. I don't know why. I think every time I've played this beta, every time I get a new world, it always comes back. It will never go away. The Ender Dragon, <laughs> the Ender Dragon won't go away. So, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck fighting the Ender Dragon. All right, so I mean, getting the Ender Dragon to go away, because every time I go back in the end, it's back. Anyway, this is how you summon it again. If you, for some reason, want it back, <laughs> you place Ender Crystals just like this on all of these sides right here, and then they'll, they'll do this really, really cool animation, in my opinion. And it'll um do this, and it'll put all the crystals back in the place in their places, and then um. After it's done putting all, and also it'll break the portal, I'm pretty sure. And I think it breaks that other little portal thing, I think. Um, and as you can see now, all these little, and all, not little, but all these ender crystals are going up into the sky. And once they are done on all sides around here, they're going to all be pointed towards the sky. And then you'll see the ender dragon come out of it. There we go. And it's really cool, in my opinion. I, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so that's how you summon the ender dragon again. And then... I showed you all the purple blocks earlier, um, and then the, okay, this is one thing I haven't showed you, the endstone bricks, to make them, all you need is four endstone, it's really simple, you can, you don't even need a crafting table for it, as you can see, I just, I just made them, 64 of them, in my inventory right there, and they look pretty cool if you want to use them, if you want to make an end themed house or something like that, or maybe you want to make a house in the end that doesn't look exactly like the regular houses in the end or something like that, um, so, I mean, I mean exactly like the end, like the block that's in the end, so you could tell the difference between your house in the end, or make a camouflage house or something like that. I don't know, those are some ideas. And then, um, I showed you the elytra, which I went into detail with in another video. Here's the ender pearl in the eye of ender. Um, I showed you in another video about the eye of ender. I don't think, yeah, you can't throw them in here. I don't think you could throw them in the nether either. And then if you throw an ender pearl, it'll, it will teleport you. It'll do a little bit of damage to you, though, so be careful with that. I'm pretty sure it does damage. I don't know how much, but I don't know if it depends on your armor or, or anything like that. But, yeah. Oh, and then there are the new mobs. I did not find a shulker, I don't think. But um, I'm pretty sure these are the only new mobs. I don't know why I just got the magma cube and the ghast. It was because I was looking through other... I was going to see if there were any other new mobs, but nope. <laughs> so the two, two new mobs are the shulker right here and the endermite now the endermite i'm pretty sure can spawn sometimes when the enderman teleports although i haven't seen that many of them and then the shulker will open up and uh i made a video all about the shulker so watch that video if you want to see some tips and tricks everything you need to know about shulkers it was a really cool video in my opinion there are a lot of cool things i didn't know you can do with them and they'll shoot you with these ball thingies and you'll fly into the air and um it gives you levitating effect and if you fall it'll kill you so be careful with that and I think that's about it. I'm not sure if I'm missing anything. If I am, um, just tell me uh, in the comments section, and maybe I'll answer you in the comments. Um, oh, oh, these potions here. I showed these briefly earlier. They make a cloud when you throw them. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure how to brew them, to be honest. I'll probably make a specific video about these, though. So if you did enjoy this video, please subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Thanks for watching, and bye, everyone.